Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's HyperShare23 here. Uh, today's video is going to be a bit different. I was planning on doing another Sonic video or a Ninjago memes video, but this this just came up and I need to make a video of it right now because I'm just... I am super pissed off right now. So, if you haven't heard already, Tom Han's version of Spider-Man is being kicked out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Originally, Disney and Sony had made a deal that allowed Spider-Man to appear in the Marvel Studios movies alongside characters like uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, uh, they all who all exist in the shared universe. And Spider-Man made his first MCU appearance during Captain America Civil War when he joined, joined Iron Man's team. And then since then, Tom Holland's ad adaptation had become a fan favorite, and Spider-Man's popularity started to rise again. And then from since then, Spider-Man would appear in four, mo four more movies. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. Which, by the way, is now Sony's highest grossing film. However, after more discussion over Spider-Man's involvement in the MCU, the higher-ups at Sony and Disney have ended the Marvel-Sony deal due to financial disputes. Originally, the deal was that Disney was making 5% of the profits from Spider-Man's appearance in the MCU movies, and the rest of their profit came from Spider-Man merchandising. However, um, when they were renewing or extending the contract, they were, uh, Disney wanted to bump the percentage up to 50%, uh, and Sony wasn't willing to go along with it. So what this means is we're never going to see Spider-Man or Peter Parker in the MCU. So no more Spider-Man the Avengers movies, no more Spider-Man solo, standalone films, and we'll probably never see him again in like another movie such as like Captain America Civil War or anything like that. This is just upsetting to me. They built Spider-Man up so much in the MCU. They made him an Avenger. They set up Peter to replace Tony as the face of the MCU. They set that up perfectly, and now it's all gone to shit. Because Disney wants money, and Sony thinks they know what they're doing. I can't even speak. They Sony thinks they know what they're doing now. They, don't they think they don't need Kevin Feige. They think they don't need Marvel. And that's just fucking stupid. Like, seriously? What the hell are you guys doing? You just fucked over an entire franchise. Disney already owns pretty much everything nowadays. They were doing fine with Spider-Man before. Home Far From Home was a huge success. And due to Spider-Man's popularity, the merchandising isn't going to end anytime soon. But now because you're getting greedy, you're going to fuck up an established universe and piss off millions of fans. That's your business strategy. And you know what? Sony's at fault too. They're getting a bit cocky because Far From Home just became their most successful film ever they've, they've ever produced. And Spider-Man's their biggest cash cow. But let me think. What was the last Spider-Man movie uh, Sony made before Homecoming? What was it? Oh yeah, Andrew Garfield. The Amazing Spider-Man movie. Those shit shows. So, if I were Sony, I wouldn't be getting so arrogant. You guys made one good Spider-Man movie. One. And it wasn't even about Peter Parker, and it was writing out the popularity of him already existing in the MCU. No, I'm not counting Venom. Because even though he's a Spider-Man character, that's not Spider-Man. That's not Peter Parker. Peter Parker's never mentioned. He's not in the movie. Another thing I want to address about this whole fucking mess is that how much it affects the MCU, and it doesn't do justice to Spider-Man. Like, let me just... Let me just put this out there. You can hate Tom Holland's Spider-Man as much as you want. You can call him Iron Man Jr. all you want. But if it hadn't been for Peter, Tony would have never stepped up. If Tony, did, if Tony didn't fight to bring back the closest thing he has to his son back to life, there would be no endgame. There would be no time heist. There would be no portal scene. There would be no sequels. So it's safe to say that Peter Parker plays a pretty major role in the MCU. But now they're just going to discredit him and possibly even deny his existence? That does not seem right to Peter Parker or to Tom Holland. Holland. Imagine working for years, building up this role, you're playing it, you're being successful, but because your bosses are cheapskates, your actions are invalid. That's what happens to Peter. That's what's happening to Peter. He saved the city, he saved the world, quite possibly the universe, but because Disney and Sony can't get their shit together, we'll pretend he didn't exist and never existed. And when you think about it, Tony really did die for nothing at this point. And another thing I want to mention, not only does this fuck up the MCU canonically, it fucks it up financially. Like, Spider-Man was supposed to be the face of the MCU now. He was supposed to take over after Tony. He's one of the most popular Marvel characters. But if he's not here in Phase 4 anymore, uh, like, who do they have exactly? Because Spider-Man is very popular. He's one of the most popular superheroes. And with him out of the picture, they're losing money. And who do they have now? They have Black, Black Widow's getting fucked over by SJWs. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier's getting fucked over by SJWs. Um, 
Everyone's pissed off about Thor, Love, and Thunder. Uh, no one knows who the Eternals are. No one knows who Shang-Chi is. Doctor Strange looks okay. I'll admit that. Um, yeah, like, so, so, Phase 4 with a lot of people is not looking too good with people. Like, it does not looking too good amongst the audience. Uh, people are starting to lose interest. It's kind of looking mediocre at this point. So, Spider-Man would have been probably one of the ones movies to rein in the most money. But, Disney wanted to be too greedy, and now they lost Spider-Man, and now what are they going to do? What are they going to do now when when Phase 4 falls flat on its face? And if you don't know what I mean when I say Black Widow and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier are getting fucked over by SJWs, basically what happens is Disney tries to be more diverse, and they're all LGBTQ, racial equality, blah, 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 and they try to do all that stuff, and it just falls flat on their face, because no one really goes to see comic movies about that, like... That's why people don't like Captain Marvel and Brie Larson. Uh, they just, they're not focused on comics anymore. They don't care about the comics being like comic accurate or comic canon. They just say, oh yeah, we want to spread a positive message, blah, 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 blah. And it falls flat in the face because no one really cares about that. No one's going to see a, a Marvel movie because they're gay. Not that I'm a homophobe, but you know what I mean. They go to see a Marvel movie because they want to see the character in action. They want to see like... Uh, awesome fight scenes, like the portal scene, or the ending the Far From Home, or like anything like that. We don't go to the movies to see someone talk about their feelings for two hours. The only positive I can find about this is now that probably Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Tom Holland, they don't have to deal with all that. But I mean, it still sucks, though, that he's not going to be in any more movies unless unless they, Disney and Mar Sony come to an agreement. And they fix their shit, and they put him back in the MCU where he belongs. Honestly, I, I personally, I would like to see Spider-Man in the MCU. I would like to see him continue because, like, Far From Home, spoiler warning, left on a cliffhanger. Mysterio reveals Peter's identity, and where do we go from there? It can't just end there. I'd like, I want to see more of that. I want to see how that uh, affects Peter in his life, how it affects him being Spider-Man, how uh, taking over after Tony and becoming an Avenger or becoming his own superhero. How does that? affect him in the MCU, in this bigger universe where there are all these heroes, all these heroes exist, and we want to see Spider-Man stand out. Anyway, guys, those are those are just my thoughts on this whole thing. I think it's really stupid. I'm really hoping that Disney, Sony reconsiders and Disney reconsiders, and they come to some form of agreement. I just, I don't want to see Spider-Man out of the MCU. I think, I think he belongs there. I think he deserves to be there. And I think... That we deserve to get a finally a really good version of Peter Parker. A live action version, that is to say. So thanks for watching guys. I hope I hope this all gets fixed. And I hope you're all having a great day. Uh next video will probably hopefully be your Sonic and Ninjago. I'll try to get that out as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And tell me what you think about the situation. Alright, I'll see you next time. Uh this is HyperShag23 signing off.